This video has been sponsored by Honey. Today we're having a look at some more performances from the masked singer. We're gonna guess who the singers are and we can't see them. Here's a chance. Hello. Viking from the UK season two, seventh place. That's a low placement. I think that the Viking will be terrible. I agree. He looks a little bit like you. I was gonna say, is that me on screen? I'm guessing myself for this one. It's such a shame for us to part. Is it a Coldplay song? Oh, this is not a singer. No one ever said it's an old man. I remember Kermit wasn't one of these. Like, it was actually Kermit. Oh, wow. They were not impressed, the jury. I wasn't either, to be honest. I'm trying to think because it's UK, so it's got to be probably oh, like you're a, right. a British celeb, I would say. I'm going to guess Ray Fiennes. And say David Attenborough. Wait, is he dead? No, he's alive. Let's say it's David Attenborough. He's doing the little <laughs> check if they're alive thing. Take it off. Take, Take it, it off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? That the lead singer uh -huh. Aha. He's a singer? Did he stop practicing or something? That was not great. Maybe he was trying to disguise himself as a bad singer to throw off. Here we have Monster UK season one, fourth place. Maybe we spare the sway. We heard each other with the things we want to Sound quality is always so weird. Looks like Sully from Monsters, Inc. Yeah. This could be a singer, though. Hmm. Mm. There's something in there. I don't know about the tone, though. But the quality is terrible. So maybe it would sound better if you're not, like, in a big sweaty suit with whatever mic that can fit in there. But I'm going to say that that was Denzel Washington. I'm going to say Nick Hewer. I don't think we are right. Any of us. No. <laughs> okay, I was close. It was CeeLo Green. Was CeeLo Green. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why did I guess just a random TV personality when he did sing well and I did right. say he sang well? I was like, uh. That was the most shocked I've been in months. Okay, here we have Wizard, Australia, season two, seventh place. Man, we're scraping the barrels here. These are like low placements. This could be a singer. Yeah. Sounds like an older man again. Maybe like Ronan Keating. Ooh, that's, a that's pretty one. good, right? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. Good. I, I'm proud of that. I'm going to say Russell Crowe. That's not bad either. Do you think they licensed this from Pirates of the Caribbean? Because it does look like that one guy, right? Oh, Davy Jones. The Affair of Death of Jack Sparrow. Who is it? <laughs> the faces. Take the mask off. Oh, I say a fire brace. Of course, that world famous celebrity. <laughs> who is that? I feel like half I do in these videos is just look up who people are. I say a fireplace. The furniture stores pop up. He's an Australian singer who won the eighth season of the X Factor Australia in 2016. Mm -hmm. Then he was in Eurovision Song Contest. He finished ninth. By the way, welcome back to another video. My name is Joel from Room Official. I'm here with Chance and I got my coffee in a glass because I don't do dishes ever, ever. I've given up on it. I throw the glasses in the trash and then I sleep on it. You sleep in the trash can. Yes. They repossessed my bed. Everything is sad. <laughs> Here we got Vampire Season 3, first place in Australia. Interesting. It sounds like one of the singers from uh, who's singing It's Raining Men or something. Oh, no. I think this might be Anastasia. Yeah, okay. There's just something about that very peculiar distortion that sounded like Anastasia to me. Do you remember Anastasia? I do, yeah. So you're guessing Anastasia? I'm going to guess Fantasia. Yo! Finally! <laughs> Let's go. I got it. Well, she's got a very peculiar voice. When someone has such a specific voice, it's possible to get it right. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Here we have Alien from the US season one, sixth place. Okay. Hot air balloons can go to space. 
could be... Sounds like a German... Is it like Heidi Klum or something? <laughs> it's got a German accent. Sounds older. Heidi Klum is older than you think. Really? On the inside. You know, under the Botox and fillers. Of course, yeah, yeah. Aren't we all? Who's another, like, German-speaking? We only really need Eastern Europe. It could have been uh, what Trump's wife, but it isn't. She definitely sounds like an actor with rhythm, not a singer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. like that, yeah. I'm sticking with Heidi Klum, man. I'm gonna say Courtney Cox. Oh, that's interesting. With that accent? Okay, maybe she can put on a good accent. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my Superstar God. singer, entertainer, LaToya Jackson! LaToya oh, Jackson? What? what? That's cool. Wow. That's one of the Jackson siblings, right? American singer, songwriter, actress, businesswoman, and television personality. Middle child in the Jackson family. The fifth, bro. They had a lot of them. They sure did. wonder what happened to all of them. Here we got UK season two, 11th place. That's like almost last. I think they're only 12. Seahorse. I, I think I know who it is so badly. The thing is, on the show, they get kind of uh, hints and stuff. We don't really get that at this show. We're way more... Uh... Right. Their costume is supposed to be like a like a hint, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know who it is. Really? Well, the thing is, like, with The Masked Singer, if they get out earlier, that means it's probably more obvious in my head. Mm. So my, my gut reaction is Victoria Beckham, the Spice Girl. I don't think this is Victoria Beckham, bro. I'm going to say Megan Trainer. Come on, Victoria. It's Wait, who? Muffin Placenta, that's what I heard. What? <laughs> it's Muffin Placenta! Mel B from Spice Girls, that's cool. Hey, I, I was almost there. I guessed uh, Spice Girl. Well done. It's almost like maybe you knew. Maybe you. Yeah, I watch British reality shows. Ah, yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Man. Oh, okay. yeah, here's interesting Badger is season two, second place. Probably a good singer. Every night in your I think it's a 90s boy band, dude. Actually, that is pretty convincing rock vocals. Hmm. Sounds like an American. I feel like it will often be one of the, like, maybe least known members in a boy band. I'm thinking this guy, what the heck is his name? Howie. I say it's Howie from Backstreet Boys. Okay, I'll see your Howie from Backstreet Boys and raise you one Joey Fatone from NSYNC. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yo! Uh, ladies love Cool J! Grammy Award winner, Hollywood actor! It was Neo! Oh, it's Neo. Whoops, I thought that was Hello Cool J. He did not sing in his usual style. That's really cool. Neo's cool. Yeah, Neo's awesome. What does he do now? Well, he actually released because of you? I don't think that's the same song. Now let's talk about today's sponsor, Honey. I'm a busy guy. Between work, my passion projects, and my personal life, I don't always have the time to search for the best deals when I shop. Luckily, I use Honey, the number one shopping tool in America. Shopping tool? What's that, like a, like a hammer or something? I think the inside of your head is just more hair instead of brain sometimes. Times, dude. But you know, Chance, Honey is a shortcut to save money on things you're already buying from websites you use every day. You can use it to buy video games, food deliveries. Can I use it when I buy shoes? Yep. How did we get here? I told you, bro, it's a shortcut. Stop doing that. Honey also searches for promo codes. They're like the Bjorn Borg of saving money. Who? He's the greatest Swedish tennis player of all time. It's the perfect comparison. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you can add Honey to your iPhone by going to joinhoney.com slash roomie to start finding great deals wherever you are. Oh, so Honey is like a one-stop service for saving money when you shop online. I love that. <laughs> I don't have much money. That's right. Your bank account is like a water park in the winter, empty and sad. Well, you don't have to go telling the people that. Is it easy to use? I'm terrible at computer stuff. I know you are. That's why I'm firing you next week. But well, yes. yes, you can get Honey for free and it does all the hard work for hey, you. Hey, what do you mean fired? To maximize your online shopping experience and support this channel, head on over to joinhoney.com slash roomy and get honey today. Can I keep my job, please? Thank you, honey, for sponsoring this video. Hey, I need this gig. Here at Daisy, UK season one, eighth place. Recording artist. 
or an actor who can sing. Definitely like good stage presence and everything, like pretty good dancing and stuff. Hmm, I'm thinking it's a musician. I'm just older, like kind of squeaky. The whole like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that was a stylistic thing or not. Like it was like on purpose for style, or if it was like she actually just couldn't do it. Um, I got it. That is Joan Jett. Oh, interesting. I think that's Joan Jett. I think it's Joey Garcefa. Let's go. Bring it up! Kelly's? Oh, oh, dang. No idea. She's a rapper. Is. She's a, she? my milkshake brings the boys her? to the yard. Wow. Here we have Robo Pine from season five, US, sixth play. It's a terrifying costume. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, I'm gonna get it on. This is, you, baby. this is a black guy. No, no, no. This is, this is a redheaded white guy. <laughs> So smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a black guy in his 30s. Maybe. You know what? I think it's Wayne Brady. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think it is? I'm sticking with a race and age for black now. Black guy in his 30s. Hey, hey, this is crazy. Whoa. Tyrese Gibson. He can sing. He is a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that sounded amazing. I'm yeah. not surprised it was a singer. I think you're almost spot on with your guess, too. Uh, in, how old is he? He's definitely in his 40s. 43. Yeah, you're right. That's as close as me guessing a Spice Girl. Here we got Seabear from Sweden. Season one, first place. Okay, this is a good one for me. Maybe. Don't you worry. I'm thinking of this guy called Ula. Mm. I mean, this would be a Swedish guy. Do you know any Swedish artists? Um, I know the chef. I think there's a guy called Ula. He has some good songs. He was like in Swedish Idol in the first season or something. You sound like him because he was very like, ah, this is very like, ah, you know. Nah, you're kidding me. It's Anders Bagge. That's funny. He's a songwriter who wrote stuff for like uh, Celine Dion and stuff. That's that, that's fun. Oh, really? Yeah, he oh. used to come to, to our songwriting school a lot and give us like oh. uh, leads and stuff. What's his name? Anders Bagge. Anders Bagge. Yeah. Cool. I bet his house. He's got a nice house. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not a flex. I just remembered. Yeti, US season five, fourth place. Let's go. Why does it hurt so bad? Make me feel so sad inside. Oh, dancing. Maybe this is an entertainer right here. I mean, he sounds kind of like Chris Brown, to be honest. Huh. It's definitely the same vibe. That was awesome. It's one of those like thin R&B voices like Chris Brown. I don't think it'll be Chris Brown. They wouldn't get away with that, right? Would they? I don't, no, I don't think so, no. I've got my guess. Okay. I think it's Chris Tucker, the comedian. Nah, no, Chris Tucker from really? Rush Hour. I think it's Chris Tucker. Does it sound like that? I think this is 100% a thing. He was dancing awesomely. He was singing awesomely. It doesn't sound like this, but it's my best guess would be like Usher. Omarion. Oh. Yes. Who's Omarion? That's the new virus, virus variant. <laughs> American singer, songwriter, actor, and dancer. He's known as the lead singer of American R&B boy band B2K. Yeah, yeah, he was B2K. Okay. What's B2K? They were a great boy band. That was awesome, though. I, he was killing it. Okay, very cool. Next. By the way, there's another guest over on patreon.com slash roomyofficial if you want to support us there. Thank you so much. Bull US season six, second place. I'd go black. Nice. I'd go crawling down the air. That type of big vibrato makes me think that it's a black guy immediately. Smoky voice. Mm. You feel my love. Could it be a woman? It's got that like female sounding tone. I think at the beginning it sounded more male. I think it's a guy. I know this one. This is the most confident I feel in an answer. I'm going to say Asher again. What's your <laughs> With full confidence, I think that this is Billy Porter. Billy Porter? Who's that? He's a Broadway singer. He oh. originated the lead in Kinky Boots on Broadway.
Yeah, it's Hardwick Hall. Oh. He was a YouTuber for a while. I don't know if he still uploads. He's got oh. an amazing voice. He did a bunch of really cool medleys and stuff. He's really cool. He was on Broadway too, didn't Nick Cannon just say? Yeah. I think? Okay. Yeah, he's a Broadway cool. star as well. Yeah, close. They got Panda, season three, first place in the UK. And it seems to me that when I die, these words will be written on my soul. Not American. Not American. And I'll be gone. Gone tonight. Gone. Round beneath my feet is open wide. I don't think this is a singer. Very, very cute outfit, though. Oh, but now it sounds good. Is this a girl or like a young boy? Is what I I it's a girl. It was a little bit pitchy in the verse and then like suddenly it was epic in the chorus. What does that mean? It almost sounds like one of the Disney kids. I was thinking that like it sounds like a musical singer, kind of like Idina Menzel type singer. I'm just going to say Idina Menzel like for the heck of it, her voice quality isn't that squeaky, but I'm going to stick with the Disney thing. I think she was like a Disney kid. They we they gave a recording contract and for that, I'm going to say Alison Mashaka. Okay. I want to do a second guess. I think it could also be the girl who plays Sharpay in High School Musical. Ashley Tisdale, yeah. Who is it? Who is it? What does he say? Natalie in Bruglia? Bruh, it's a torn singer. Now I need to hear it again. What? I mean, I only know one song with her. Yeah. But the f interesting thing about this show in general is that you realize how much of someone's sound sits in what type of music they make and how it's produced and stuff. There's only like a few voices on this show that have been like, obviously something. You got Donuts, UK season three, sixth place. Making me hungry. I find it freaky that a donut has a mouth. I'm just saying, it kind of freaks me out. What? He's dancing like I do, which means he's probably not an artist. Timing's really off to Joe Sugg. I'm gonna say it's Joe Sugg. I'm going to say that it's Sean Bean. Nah, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> let's go. Who is this boy band guy? Michael Owen. Michael Owen. Yo, remember Michael? You don't remember that. Is he a quarterback? No skipping this part of the video. I'm educating everyone. It's like a core memory for me. This is one of the most classic goals of all time. If I can freaking find it. Well, he did so many, but like basically it was just so fast and crazy. Okay, look at this. Check out Owen. Owen, let's, let's go Owen. Yes. Come on. Look at that. Look at, look at his legs go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Bro, did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? That's really cool. It would be a lot better if he was wearing like a helmet and shoulder pads. And, and he only got two meters or like two, five yards before yeah. he got stopped. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would make it really, that Yeah, I love, awesome. I love when people don't run in sports. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I just wanted to be beat up, you know, and stop with yeah. the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, you've made me like American football, though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it now. But come on, the speed of that. Anyway, whatever, Chance, whatever. Michael Owen, it's him, okay? Look at him go. Wow. He scored a, a hole in one with this performance. That's a thing in soccer, right? Right? A donut hole in one. Ah. Yo! Okay, here we have Mouse in the US, season three, 14th place. Old woman. You can make it a big banana, but you better get here soon. You can reach me on the caravan. Oh, oh, oh. Probably a singer. Just get if you For some reason, I'm just thinking of the word Gladys Knight. Do you remember Gladys uh -huh. Knight? I'm gonna also say, I'm gonna steal your guess. Gladys Knight. The legendary Dionne Warwick. Dionne oh. Warwick. Oh. Iconic. I Wow, she is a legend, yeah. Also very funny on Twitter. Here we are, Dalmatian, US season six, 13th place. When they get to do this, but everybody know who girl that you Off brand Snoop Dogg. Come on, come on, hands up, come on, hands up, come on. Come on. Come on. 
If you're having a good time tonight, make some noise. Like low energy rapper. Sings well. Yeah, that's pretty heavily auto tuned, I think. If he wasn't the host of the show, I would say Nick Cannon. Nah, black guy, rapper, maybe a bit of a singer. I'm gonna say my fifth Usher guest or whatever. I'll say 50 Cent. That's pretty good. He is a low energy rapper. Let's mm -hmm. see. Tiger. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's a pretty good Amazing. get for them for the show. <laughs> Tiger, yeah. I can't yeah. believe he's here. Yeah, I can't believe he's here either. <laughs> I can't believe it. What? Are people coming on this show now? It's a cell phone of your own show. We're here for a video where me and Daniel Thrasher guess different singer trivia. There's some really fun stuff in there. Like, for example, what do you think Eminem has in his locker room at every gig he does? It's kind of weird. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. And Chance, say goodbye. Goodbye. And also, I think there should be more American football players on Shut, singing shows stop, because stop it's video, better.